Hi, I'm Peter Hannigan. I'm here at Bauma 2022, and I'm here to see prototypes and new things that are coming into the industry. And here on the Mechalex stand, we've got exactly that kind of thing. We've got the Revo truck, and Quentin here has spent quite a lot of time developing this prototype. Quentin, yeah. we look at this particular model class, and it's a site dumper in the UK. And a lot of things have changed in this class. One, if you haven't got a cab, they tend to be not treated very well. And yeah. two, we've seen the impact of safety on the job site and the impact of a cab. What is it all about? It's a prototype that you've developed. Why have you developed a product like this? And what are the differences from what you'd see on the market right now? Yeah. So I'm pleased to, to be here in front of the Revo truck. So you can get in the name Revo truck means revolutions, and it's not just a side dumper, conventional side dumper. It's more than it's more than just a classical side dumper. It becomes a truck, right? And that's quite important also to compare to to what you say. So we started from scratch to really tackle the issues we have in terms of safety on side dumpers, and this comes with the visibility. So we right. wanted to provide a rotating cab. This yep. is the case here. So it's, uh, it's more than just one side and the other. You can also see when you're trenching your, the field on your right, on your left. So you see your skip movements. You, you have the best visibility when using the skip, when loading, when unloading, but you've got like this configuration, best yep. visibility when carrying material from point A to point B. Yeah, and that's, that's it, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I think you're, you're saying there, and it's really important, folks, this turns 270. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's not turning one to the side, slightly to the side. You're turning into yeah. the space yeah. where you've got the visibility. Yeah. You can see operators working in that space. Absolutely. You yes. can see how, yes. how the actual earth yeah. moving equipment that you're using Absolutely. is working yeah. Yeah. in the space. Yeah. And therefore, it's around positioning isn't it? Yeah. So site dumper, if you've got to go that was and forwards, and that's where the movement creates yeah. a problem. If you can actually m put yourself in that situation, see where the trench is driven, and move along with the trench yeah. so that you can get loaded properly. Yeah. One, it's more efficient, so therefore you're burning less fuel. Yeah. But two, it's safer because you're understanding how yeah. to see things. And then spinning around, you obviously need to go that way um, to actually go and dump it. But then when you're dumping it, if you get it in the wrong place, then a material handler has got to do more work again. So a dumper used wrongly can actually make a lot more impact on the fuel that it costs you to move material. Move it once, move it well, and make sure you can see what you're doing. That's what this is all about, yeah. isn't it? And also, because we have the rotating cab, which offer best visibility, we were able to lower this dumper. You saw conventional oh, side, right, side so dumper, yeah. Look down, right. Conventional side dumpers, they tend to be higher to, to, see, uh, to see over your, your skip. Right. But with this concept, we are able to lower the center of gravity. So it's all about stability, in fact, in terms of safety. Now, and that's another really key point, folks. I've seen them, we've all seen, if we're in construction, those pictures of site dumper fallen over. Yeah. One, it's just a disaster on site. Two, you've maybe potentially injured yourself, or worse still, there's a fatality. And we know that then when you pull that site dumper back up again, there's going to be a lot of damage to it, and that's going to be a cost as well. Downtime yeah. with the equipment, and the fact is, you're, you're fundamentally not being safe, are yeah. you? You yeah. know, you're, you're, and, and with a big unit like this, let's go and have a look at the skip. We can find out how much you can actually carry. Come on, let's go. Yeah. So this is a nine ton dumper, but we will also have it in six ton capacity. And I propose to have a look at the chassis. So I said we, we were able to lower the center of gravity to the machine because of the rotating cab. Yep. But also on this machine, which is really unique compared to what exists on the market, it's a rigid chassis with right. an oscillation at the center. And okay. what, did, what benefits does that give you then? The benefit is here. We are able to have four wheel steer. So oh, right, four wheel yeah, steer. Yeah, four wheel okay. steer like this. So, I mean, the benefit in terms of mobility is just crazy. It's this turning radius is half of the turning radius of a conventional side dumper. Right, it's and so another advantage. safety feature. I'm going to come into this one. Right, if you have a turning circle that's massively reduced like yeah. that, what did we say? We're saying we're not going around the site as much. We're working in a much more confined space. 
that is safer. Yeah. And absolutely. therefore, if we're doing that, we're also not doing a big turning circle. And guess what we're also not doing? Burning fuel again. So yeah. there's another burning fuel element there. Come in, come in here, because we need to understand this. Yeah. So what are we seeing right there? Yeah, so we see the central oscillation of the machine. So the, we, the chassis is in two parts, which, which can independently follow the contour of the terrain. So you see? Right, and, okay, so we're going yeah. right that. But yeah. the operator's got a comfy seat, yeah. and, and they are looking out at the machine. Yeah. yeah. And also, please, a little bit of refresh on science of this. Because we are rigid, imagine when you are still on a conventional side dumper, most of them are articulated. When your skip is fully tipped, and you are fully articulated, the center of gravity will move right. far away from the machine. So stability will be limited, yep. and there is a risk of rollover, as you said. Yep. On this machine, because it's a rigid frame, when your skip is fully tipped on one side or the other side, center of gravity is still in the right, size of the machine. Right. This is a massive advantage in terms of stability. So I'm going to get up here, folks. So here you can see the huge okay, skip the there, and you can also see the cab, which we're going to go and have a look at now. So, folks, coming down from the skip there, really, really important that we get inside this cab. We've done a lot of talking about it, but let's get inside it. First of all, again, three points of contact. One, two, three, and we're in. Wow, it's massive in here. It's absolutely massive. Right, so we've got the, the seat. We've actually got a joystick control here. I don't know if you can see that there. We've got the joystick control. We've obviously got the main controls. And then you look around and it's all glass here. All glass all the way around. But when we do the rotation, we're gonna move this front pane so I can see down all the time. We're gonna move it where we need to on the job site. Yeah. So guess what? That's it, folks, a brand new machine. But we're going to have to talk a little bit more about what's inside that powers it, my friends. So let's get outside of here. So now we need to understand what happens with the power pack. So let's come and talk around here. So inside of here, we've got the engine. Yeah. Now the stage five engine, I take it? Yeah, this is a stage five engine, which is uh, 55 kilowatts. Yep. So we are able to run every movement on the machine, and this machine is also designed to work on every terrain, like in the UK, for example. And we've also explained the stability of this machine, so the engine is exactly designed for the capacity of the machine. Yeah, so what's really important about Stage 5 engines, as we know, is you've got to run them heavy. Yeah. You know, So Stage 5, because of the, the whole after treatment, yeah. It needs to be run well, and so therefore you've designed this with yeah. the team at Perkins Engines, I believe, yes, as well, to actually integrate that engine yeah. into the overall design. Yeah, and that's again important, yeah. isn't it? And I, I don't know if you've seen also, let's but come the, on, yeah, let's go let's around look. We have integrating the engine so between the cab and the skip. So here we are able to access to the machine from the sides. Yeah. On each side we have this this part, and we are also able to remove all the hood if we need more. Uh, more accessibility to the to the engine. So ground floor accessibility here, yeah. refueling here, Everything and is. all of that integrated so yeah. that fundamentally you have a whole machine design and concept that is focused around one efficiency, productivity. We're gonna rebrand it, it's an earth moving machine. This yeah. this is not a site dumper because yes. this looks like nothing like a site dumper that I've seen. And we've got this prototype, we're now working it through the field. Yeah. So we're gonna be seeing this or this an iteration of this coming out in the next few years, I take it. Yeah. Uh, we are planning to have it uh, next year. Right, okay, so, yeah. that quick. And we right. have already started some, some evaluations with uh, big customers. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. And feedbacks are really positive about these machines. We, I think we are, we are setting another standard in terms of uh, you know, dumpers on the market. And if we can all be more efficient, all be better for the environment and keep everyone safe, no matter what's going on, therefore it's going to be the best for everyone, isn't it? Great. Yeah. Fantastic <laughs> to see you at Bowman. Appreciate well, your time. Yeah. Cheers. Well, Thanks a lot. Yeah.